Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Yes, that's right, we're back in Mini Metro, the game everyone seems to love. It is taking off on the channel, and today we'll be going to the city of Boston, Beantown. We're going to entwine the sprawling Boston Harbor to get the T moving. <laughs> I see what they did there. Uh, so if you've never played Mini Metro before, I always give this introduction. Pretty easy game. Connect the stations like that. Your subway runs from station to station to station, and it moves passenger around. Passengers around, but it's gonna get crazy here momentarily. Uh, there'll be additional shapes. We'll have to cross these rivers here in the harbor. We're gonna have to make sure we create the best subway system that we can create. And here we go. We already have a um, circle spawning over here, and we'll have that hook into the square, and it can bring any passengers it needs down here. And then the red line can move. Uh, them to the circle or the triangle as needed uh, and we'll just have the orange swing over here and grab that as well uh, perfect so there we go easy start so far Boston we've had a couple crazy episodes uh, in recent history Osaka was pretty crazy uh, so was st. Petersburg and Hong Kong was probably the craziest of the ones we've had so far and we'll take our blue line and have it cross like that and just so we have the square hooked in there, ooh, there's going to be a lot of squares on this side. Get our orange line hooked in over there as well. The week's almost up, so at the end of the week we'll get our prizes. We'll get uh, probably a new train and maybe a new line or a new uh, carriage or the interchange, which allows you to have a, a larger station that holds more passengers before it ends. So let's go ahead and take the line this time. we got one tunnel left. Perfect. So we've got 35 people moved, moving right along here at double speed. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos. Comment on down below. Always looking for feedback. Let me know what you think of the videos, what I can do better. So far, I've been doing pretty low edit videos, and I kind of like that where I just play the game. I'm not going to put in all these fancy edits and cuts and things like that. Um, oops, let's move that over. And we're going to put the extra train here. I'd really like a triangle or something to spawn over there. Maybe we, I could run the orange line over to this triangle, but I think we leave it be for now because the red and blue line pick up from this station and can move the triangles over there. All right, the red line's going to swing over and grab this circle here, and we're just going to go ahead and loop it there. Nice little red loop in the center of Boston. All right, and I guess I could loop the orange line if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and loop the orange line as well, at least for now. We might change that as things progress, especially if we have something spawning more straight north, which we do. We have a square spawning there. Um, let's go ahead. Well, it's almost the end of the week. Let's wait to the end of the week. Let's see what we get for our prizes. We'll take the locomotive, and we'll take the tunnel. And then let's go ahead, and we're going to have this other line come down, hit the triangle, and hit that center square like that. And that'll also help the uh, the triangles building up. Ah, and we can have it come over there and hit that triangle as well. I could loop it again. Why not? Actually, let's have it double up on this line, and then we'll have it loop like that. Perfect. Now, again, since we're not playing the hardcore mode, I can change lines. If we were playing hardcore or expert or whatever it's called, uh, we wouldn't be able to do that. Once you set a line, it's set. Just kind of like in real life, you can't really move a subway line, at least very easily. We had our first special shape spawn. We had the diamond spawn over here on the east side of the map, and we're going to hook our blue line into that. Blue line is getting a little more stressed than the other two lines. The circle here is starting to build up a little bit. We have another square over there. Um, how do I want to handle that? I could have the blue line. No. Um, yeah, I hear you chirping. Well, again, it's almost the end of the week. Let's see what happens here. We'll get probably another new line, and we'll take care of that that way. All right, red line can come down and get that circle. Uh, all right, 218 passengers moved almost all the way through Sunday, and then we'll go ahead and change that up. We'll take the locomotive. Ooh, we didn't get a new line, but we got plenty of tunnels. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the tunnels, because we'll use two tunnels to have the orange line bridge across like that to pick that square up on the far side. Nice. Uh, do I want to add to the blue line? I think I will, especially now that it's going to have to pick that square up. So let's just go ahead and we're going to take our extra train and we're going to drop it there. And we'll have these kind of run in reverse. The red line uh, doing well, green line doing well as well. Luckily, the green line, a lot of its stations are overlapping. Uh, okay, we'll have the orange line come down here. We're not using any tunnels. 
uh, but it is getting kind of long and obtuse for that orange line. What I'd like to eventually do is this triangle I just put the orange line on, I think I'd like to take it off the orange line and probably do another loop um, with whatever color we get next. Maybe hit these three squares that are in a row, the triangle and that circle, and then kind of loop it that way. But we'll see how this week ends and what prizes we get. All right, 350 people moved so far, almost through. So oh, we just turned into Sunday there, so it's Sunday morning. We'll have the green line pick up that circle there. Nice. All right, I just enjoy the, the listening to the swishing of the trains as they, they move around. And yes, we'll take that line. So let's go ahead and pause for a second. We're going to unhook this triangle, let that spring back up like that. And then let's do, we'll take our gray line, hit all these, boom, 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 boom. And then we can have it come up and hit that square. So there, we got another nice loop for the gray line. That's going to help out the orange line, and it's going to help out the red line. And then if we have anything kind of spawning in the southwest, we'll have our gray line pick those up. All right, blue line, you're going to have to go pick up another special shape all the way down there. Not ideal because that, that's a pretty long transit line without anything there on that kind of run from the pentagon to the circle. But halfway through the week, 416 people moved. Let's have the, let's have the gray line swing out and pick up that circle. Since it's a pretty long line, the gray line that is, but it doesn't it doesn't really have a lot of stations. It only has one of its own station. Well, now that we're adding that circle, it has two, but it didn't have quite or it has quite about a bit of overlap. Wow, I can't speak. All right, and then we're gonna have this over here. There we go. Orange line can pick up that circle. 490 people moved. Uh, about halfway through the Saturday, we'll get into Sunday here in a minute. All right, chugging right along. 515 people moved. Very nice. Nothing chirping at us yet, and that circle just changed into a square. There's quite a bit of squares on the Boston map. I feel like in a lot of other maps, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys feel this way. I feel like a lot of the other maps, you really don't see a lot of squares. There's usually just one or two, but we got got several already. Let's go ahead and pick up the carriage for now, and we'll drop that, I think, on the blue line. Uh, and we got another locomotive, and let's put that other locomotive on, I think the green line's looking a little little heavier here all right and then we'll have the orange line pick up this other square orange line's getting kind of long has a lot of stops but again they, they, they do some overlap with the green and the gray uh, so that's helping us out there i wonder i could take the orange line off these two squares all right gray line will come down and pick that triangle up but um i don't know what do i want to do there because then I could go from the square, not the center square, but the one just a little bit left of it to the circle, to the square, and kind of wrap around that way. Um, ooh, and we got a circle kind of spawning out there in the middle of nowhere. Let's see if we get another line this time, uh, and we'll hang off on hooking that circle that just spawned into the southwest. 715 people moved, 714 people moved. So we're, we're chugging right along, and that's going to start chirping at us here in a few seconds. I get it. All right. That center circle is spawning quite a bit. Uh, ooh, liner interchange. That's that's a tricky one to pick from. I want the line. I think I'll do better with the line. All right, let's pause for a second. We'll have the gray line come down here, pick that up. I think I'm going to get the red line involved in that circle there since it seems to be spawning a lot. Then let's go ahead and take our blue line. Um, or sorry, not the blue line, excuse me, the lavender lilac line. Uh, and we'll have it come at least there for now and then let's have it hit this triangle over there and then come up and hit this square just for now again we'll probably be moving that once we get going a little bit more but that'll help quite a few lines and it, it kind of bisects everything a little bit so we're moving east to west instead of doing these kind of loops that we've been doing but the loops seem to be working i'm pretty happy with the loops 800 people moved just had that circle spawn in there on the gray line Makes my job easy when they spawn like that. Wednesday of the week. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Again, I like these low cut videos. If you guys feel differently about them and you want me to do more cuts or you want me to put more graphics in or anything like that, let me know, please. Um, ooh, that's, that's way down there. Let's, I guess, have the gray line go grab that. Uh, now the gray line's getting kind of long too and it only has one train on it, so we'll need to keep an eye on that. Um, 
as well as I sign graphics, things like that. I don't know. Sometimes I really like those in videos. Other times I feel like it's just a little, little too much. Like I, I'm here to watch the gameplay and not, you know, anything else. Obviously, I want a little comedy. To, I try to bring some comedy in. I think I'm a, a pretty funny person, but that's, that's my opinion. And maybe you guys don't think I'm that funny. I don't know. 249 of you like me, so doing something right. All right, let's go ahead and pick up the last line. Uh, and we're going to take... Oh, where do I want to take this line? Actually, let's hang on to it for now. We'll put another train on the gray line running in the opposite direction. And the gray line just picked up a teardrop, so we need to kind of watch that because it does have a special shape. Let's have, because of that, let's just have the purple line run down. It's going to pick up the teardrop, and I'm going to have it pick up that circle there. Uh, yeah, that seems to be working. If I had another tunnel, I might loop it. If we get tunnels next time, we might loop this purple line, or maybe we should loop the blue line, because that blue line's getting pretty long too. I don't know, red line's gonna have some issues here, but the gray and the red train are about to hit that to help that station out, so that's good there. Okay, now we have a plus sign down here as well, next to the teardrop, but that's okay. We got two lines kind of passing through that. All right, that center, oh, that took a lot there, okay. Moving right along, 1,170 people moved. Orange line, I hate to do it to you, but there you go. Another station on the orange line for now. Probably should get another train or at least a carriage on the red line. It's really, it's not struggling, but there's quite a bit spawning on it, and I don't want that to become an issue. We'll take the locomotive, and we're going to take the interchange, and we're going to put another locomotive on the red line and have it run in reverse of the current red train. All right, there we go. We get, so the great thing about these interchanges is if something's about to fill up, one of the stations is about to fill up, we can drop it on there and it's gonna reset the timer. So it buys us a little bit more time to hopefully uh, not lose the level, if you know what I mean. Uh, 1,312 people moved. Getting some chirps now that we probably need to pay a little more attention to. So let's go ahead and hook our purple or lavender and gray line into that triangle. Couple triangles in a row right there. Not the most ideal, but that's that's a part of the game sometimes. All right, and that's gonna help out there. And we're gonna get the purple line there. And I probably need to put another train on the purple line because it is getting quite full. Let's just have the gray line come over here and help with that circle as well. Uh, and we're gonna see if we can get to this triangle and we can't. Um, all right, so we'll just have to wait for the end of the week here. Uh, there's a square that just spawned in. So the gray line will pick that square up. Uh, okay. Things seem to be calming down a little bit. Almost 1,500 people moved. It's Sunday. Um, we'll take the locomotive. And oh, golly, I'd rather have the other interchange, but I almost need the tunnels so we can get to this triangle. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's pause for a second. I got three tunnels. So let's go tr from brown line. It's going to hit that triangle. It's going to come down and hit that square. And then it's going to hit this circle, this. Oh, we can't go through that. Okay. Uh, this circle here, here, and then let's have it kind of work its way back up. All right, it's a, oh, I don't have enough tunnels to do that. Okay, so let's not do that then. Um, all right, so that's going to be the brown line. Um, no, let's just have it end at this circle there. Like that. Okay. So there's the brown line there. It's picking up that triangle. Maybe if we get some more tunnels, we can loop it. Uh, but we got quite a few spots that are starting to chirp at us that we need to, to pay attention to. All right, brown line can pick up that circle there as well. All right. 1,586 people moved, doing pretty well so far. Stations are starting to get a little more full. Need to keep an eye on that. This station is filling up quite quickly. Uh, so we might be dropping our interchange on that station here in a few seconds. And I think we will be because um, it's going to fill up here. So we'll let it get pretty darn close. And we're just going to go ahead and drop that on there. Not ideal, uh, but it's going to buy us a little bit more time. Uh, and hopefully this purple line or lavender line, which probably really needs another train on it, it's going to pick up some stuff at this circle that's about to fill up. Uh, and it does. Actually, let's just have the brown line help out there, too. Uh, it's going to take it a few minutes to get down there. Um, we'll have the gray line shift over and pick that up. And that was the game. Uh, all right, 1,792 people moved across 69 days here in Boston. 
we did did pretty well there. I'm pretty happy with that number. So thank you so much for coming out and enjoying this Tooth and Scrubs video. Leave a comment down below on anything you want. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.